guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a haul, but this is kind of a twofer. So I've got a haul that I sourced at one of my local bins locations here, and I also have a mini haul that was sourced by my mom. If you have been following me for any amount of time, you know that my mother is like the OG thrifter. We dressed out of thrift stores growing up, she still dressed out of thrift stores today. She taught me everything I know about thrifting and quality and fabrics. And uh, I'm pretty excited to show you some of these things. But first and foremost, if you are new here, I'm Julia, uh, that's my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet here. If that sounds like anything that you are into, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, I've got a lot to get through here. Again, I think I have somewhere between 35 and 40 pieces. So go grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, get comfy, and let's get in to the haul. Okay, so we are gonna kick this off with my mom's haul. Now this has been sourced from a combination of her local bins locations and her kind of five or six favorite thrift stores that she goes to around her area. She literally, she calls them her rounds. She makes her rounds and she still goes like once or twice a week. I believe that most of these, if they've been sourced in her regular thrift store on dollar days. So everything's gonna be around that dollar price point, if not a little bit lower. Her bins location, I wanna say the local bins location to her is like a dollar 69 a pound or a dollar 29 a pound it's super super inexpensive so some of these things might have cost 10 cents 25 cents but because of that we're not going to have like the big numbers wrap up at the end of the video just because it's a little bit of a mixed bag today but let's get into the treasures that she found so first up and i never even told her that mob wife was a thing but she got this cute little leopard print cheetah print camisole it's kind of like tunic length. It's a little bit of a longer length. It's long enough for me to have thought like, is this a dress? You know, it's like almost on that borderline. But this is from Lord & Taylor and it's Lord & Taylor branded. So I, I've never found anything from there, but it is really nicely made. It's fully lined. It's got this lace trim with a little bit of a hot pink detail there very glam adjustable straps and it is brand new with tags so i'm gonna say probably 20 bucks on this it's not you know a super substantial piece but it is very on trend right now and it's a size xl so great to find next up is this cute shirt from brooks brothers now this is teeny tiny this is like a zero petite so i think this is going to take a minute but this print reminds me like can you see that? This reminds me so much of like the William Morris textiles. And if you're not, I guarantee you know what I am talking about when I say William Morris textiles, you just might not know that they are designed by a guy named William Morris. If you type that into Google, you will see what I'm talking about and you will know exactly what I'm, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to. But anyway, so this is from Brooks Brothers, 100% cotton, beautiful condition. Again, it is a zero petite, but this is something that I have no doubt in this color, in this print, I'll probably get somewhere around 25 for this. Very cute. Next up here, now this was super cute. You know, my mom grabbed this for the style and she didn't know the label. This is from Aster the Label. And Aster the Label is a brand, I believe they sell it at Nordstrom. I know that they sell this on uh, Revolve. It's not one of their more expensive labels. It has been slowing down a little bit for me, but it's a little white dress and it's this kind of like crochet lace. And it's so cute. Let me get you up close on that lace. I just thought this was super, super cute. And there were, you know, my mom had a big stack and I had to go through and kind of edit out the things that I didn't think would sell. You know, like I'm, I'm going home with a suitcase and I bring stuff home for them that I have, you know, bought for them. Just, I've mentioned a few things on here that I was giving to my mom or my brother or whatever. So I basically like, take that stuff out of my suitcase and I've got a little bit of space to bring home some treasures that she sourced. But this was one that I held on to because it is a little white dress and I will be using that tag and I think this will sell in no time, probably somewhere between 20 and 
30. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I've not had many Aster dresses. I've had more tops than I have had dresses, but maybe even up to the $35 range is just with it being a white dress and it being bridal season right now. Next up, this one's a classic and just took up no space in my suitcase. And this is a cute little just basic camisole, brand new with tags from J. Jill. J. Jill camisoles retail for $39 apparently, but it's just a perfect little nude camisole. Is this cotton modal? So it's super soft. It's long line. This will sell in no time because this is just one of those things that absolutely everybody should have in their closet. You should have a white camisole, a nude tech camisole, and a black camisole. And don't cheap out on them. Guys, like these are the kind of things that you will wear hundreds of times before you get rid of them. So spending that extra $10 or whatever on them is worth it. You know, we're always so tempted to put the big money into like standout trend pieces. This is where our money should be. So next up, now I had never heard of this company and it's called Casual Trend. When I, when I put it into Google, it turned up, I think this is Italian and it's a pretty expensive brand. But what I liked about this, this is a size 40, which I think is a size eight in European sizes, but it is silk. And if you look closely, can you see what this pattern is? They're poodles. And I live, I live for a, for a novelty print. Elastic's in great shape. It is in perfect condition. Kind of like a, not quite a Nehru collar, but like a, like a collarless collar. Really cute. It's got these little blue sun sleeves that are kind of propped up by that ruffle. I love that detail. That always just feels such high quality to me. Something like this because of the novelty print, somewhere between $25 and $35, if not a little bit more. This brand, like I said, is pretty expensive, so this might be closer to the $35 to $45 range. Next up, she knows I love a vintage nightgown, and this is a white cotton, kind of oversized. This is probably 70s or 80s. It's got a little pin tucking detail. I'll probably run this through and give it a little bleach because it is all cotton and it will respond beautifully to bleach. But these are the kind of things, in particular, the Laura Ashley ones, if you can find them. I, Laura Ashley nightgowns like this will sell for like 80 to $100. It's insane, but even something like this, there are people that seek out these kind of all cotton nightgowns because they're just getting harder to find. Next up, I thought this was this was wild for her to pick up on. This is a little like nighty with beautiful, and I think this is probably what made her look twice at it. Look at that detail, that beading and that lace detail there. But this is from Jean Kiel. And Jean Kiel, this is a size medium. Jean Kiel is an incredibly high-end company. They're sold at Neiman Marcus. This was probably close to $200 new. You know, the details are silk. The webbing is soft. The lace is high quality. You know, and they're made for, they're, they're known for making kind of like bridal trousseaus. Like they'll make a peignoir and robe set. And, that, and that's kind of their specialty, but definitely a label to keep your eyes out for. I have sold a bunch of pieces from Jean Kiel and for very serious prices. You know, I'm talking, I'll probably see, this is a smaller piece. The other one I've sold a peignoir and I've sold two like long nightgowns and they've all gone like over $50. As a matter of fact, I think that the road went for close to a hundred. So just keep your eye out. That is a brand to keep your eyes out for. Next up, this is just a little like tech tee that she found. And she, she kept saying, she, she's so funny. Cause she's like, you're, you know, I hate that technical fabric. I hate that technical fabric. And then she picks up a technical fabric because it is buttery soft. This is from a brand called Apana. And I've never found this before. I've never really seen this before. When I looked it up online, it did seem to have pretty good sell through and a decent resell rate, but we will find out. This is kind of like a light purple gray Heather little seam in the back. This is size medium, perfect condition feels like it's unworn. So 15 to 25 on this, I'm not quite sure. I have to do a little bit more research into the brand. It's again, it's just not a brand that I'm familiar with. So, and the quick search that I did, did look promising. So I'll do a little bit more research on that before I get that listed. Next up, another great little J Jill basic. This is a pretty like burgundy three quarter sleeve top. This is Pima cotton. 
I, you know, again, I love J. Jill. I love their fabric. I've been picking it up more and more. It, it went through this kind of phase where it wasn't really moving for me, but it's been moving better and better for me. It's not something that is going to sell for a huge amount, but it will sell reliably, and the quality is so nice. I love selling this because I know that they are great pieces going to the people who buy them. So great little find. Next up here, I've got, oh, this, this is so cute. This is a little cloth and stone piece and size small, but it's this cute little like denim shell. It's a little bit shorter in the back, but look at that. It's got a cute little button back. I love cloth and stone pieces. I sell them so fast. I, like, I will almost pick up any cloth and stone piece that I find because they always use really great textiles. Their construction is really nice and their styles, their silhouettes are very classic. So a really cute piece. I think I'll get somewhere between 25 and 35 for this and I think that that'll sell pretty quickly. Next up, now I have no idea what I'll get for this. This is another little vintage Free People piece. Cute little like psychedelic rainbow print tunic i think that's a tunic it's got some ruching here in the middle i've never seen anything like this from free people so we'll see mm, 20 bucks when it comes to the other vintage free people pieces that i found that people really go gaga over they're kind of they're like boho right they're like spaghetti strap they're like the little camisoles that kind of stuff people really really like this is a little bit more of a like an everyday wear type piece so we'll see next up now this was the piece she was most excited to show me and i understand why this feels couture like the construction on this feels so incredible but like, look at the details on this so the designer is caro rinlin i've never heard of them before and i haven't been able to find too much in my short search for them but look at this so it's got you know a kind of a heavy duty zipper here and the trim down here is zipper teeth and it's fully lined on both levels of the peplum. This feels very current in what's happening in kind of up and coming fashion. Peplums are starting to pop up again in the kind of early trendsetters. So we'll see how this does. I think this is really beautiful. I want to do a little bit more research on this designer. I want to make sure that I price this accordingly, but isn't that gorgeous? It's so different. Like I've never seen anything like this. And it's a small, I think this was a smaller, an extra small. It doesn't even say, so I'll just have to go by, I'll just have to go by measurements here. Next up here, another Brooks Brothers piece, Supima Cotton. This is an extra large, this is a men's piece. Perfect little turquoise kind of sweater that you throw on over a collared shirt. These are the kind of things that I can usually find a lot of in the bins and when I'm having like a slow day, I will turn to stuff like this. If they're in great condition, they will sell super quickly. Brooks Brothers is very, very expensive, especially guys. There are guys that like when it comes to their dressier clothes, and I feel like this is a tendency for a lot of guys. Like when guys find like the one designer, the one company that makes the clothes that fits them, obviously there are guys that are like very into fashion. I ain't talking about those guys. I'm talking about, you know, your everyday run of the run of the mill guy who does not care about fashion. They find the company that fits them right, and that's it. They're buying from that company for the rest of their lives. Bonobos, you know, Brooks Brothers, J. Crew, same deal. Like I know J. Crew guys, I know Brooks Brothers guys, I know Bonobos guys, and like never the tween shall meet. So probably 30 bucks on this, maybe a little bit more. Next up, now I can't remember who this brand was. Giffen, Griffin cashmere, but this is 100% cashmere and a black cashmere turtleneck. This is kind of like a chunky turtleneck. I will forever pick these up because these will forever go. This is in fabulous condition. It's a size small, black cashmere turtleneck, $35 to $45 all day. No moth holes, you know, always, always, always when you are picking up cashmere at the bins, at the thrift, whatever, hold them up to a light. That's the easiest way to kind of see if there's any little pinprick holes coming through. And now if you find a super high end one, maybe you find like a Gucci cashmere sweater and it's got a little moth hole, like there are places that can repair those to make it look like they're not there, but that is not going to be worth that investment unless it's something that's going to resell for like $200, $300. Next up, this is from a brand called HD in Paris. Never heard of it. 
and it's just this really cute 100% cotton kind of baby doll top. I think this is more of a tunic top than it is a dress, but I think this could easily be worn as a dress. Like I could easily see myself wearing this, throw a pair of biker shorts under it and call it a day. But it's, you know, really beautiful cotton. It's got kind of like a faux wrap neckline. It's a size extra large, size US size 10, but it is an oversized fit. So I think that's supposed to fit quite, quite wide. But isn't that cute little three quarter length sleeves with a textured cotton, which I love probably 28 to 32 on this maybe a little bit more i just think that's so cute and i want to do a little bit more research into that designer because the tag does look very nice and the construction is very nice so this very well might be a higher end designer than i'm thinking it is off the bat next up now this is a talk about a little flashback check out this chico's tag this is a vintage chico's top and it's that kind of very stretchy knit and I'm gonna like, I wish I wish you could feel this in your hand. It's heavyweight, it's got a lot of stretch to it and I know that there's a name for this and I'll never remember it, but it's a size two, black t-shirt, super great basic, 20 to $25 all day and a vintage Chico's piece. I've sold a couple vintage Chico's pieces, most of them printed and they've sold really, really well. Like they have been some of my most like liked pieces of all time. Next up, two incredible pieces to finish off the mama haul here. And this one she got, I wanna say she got this like a week after I was out, not this past time, but the last time I think I was out there back in October. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful little Anna Sui silk dress. Isn't this freaking adorable so this is raw silk can you see that texture on that it's navy blue and white there's a tag for you it is a size two unfortunately so this will take a little bit of time to sell but is this not the cutest little dress like i mean can you see this at a cocktail party at a yacht club in the hamptons it's like a little left of center but still preppy i mean i think i'll probably get somewhere between 50 and 100 dollars on this and if memory serves me right she did pick this up on a dollar day just gorgeous nice boning quality too you know sometimes you get those flimsy little bones this feels like it's actually gonna like keep you locked and loaded i love anna Sui. i love her style and i just think that is so cute and last up here for the mama collection is this beautiful classic i mean i've have you ever seen such a classic dress this is from lafayette 148 and lafayette 148 is an incredibly expensive brand this was probably a good six to eight i have to retack that that little tag there this is probably a six to eight hundred dollar dress they make elevated basics with absolutely impeccable quality the best quality materials but what i love here is look at these sleeves i'm going to put my arm through this so you can kind of get it so the top of the sleeve has a little slit it's not like a cold shoulder or anything but it's just like a little slit so it's just a little peak of that upper arm and then the bottom is split so it kind of has an effect like a bell sleeve but it's otherwise just a little navy blue sheath absolutely stunning probably somewhere 50 to 100 dollars on this as well again lafayette 148 100 percent a bowler brand you need to keep your eyes out for it they are so expensive and people really do seek the brand out especially for things like this these kind of elevated classic basics i mean this is a dress that i this could be 20 years old this could be 30 years old you know it's just one of those dresses that is super classic and will never be out of style so that is it for the haul from my mom what did you guys think how did she do what's your favorite thing that she found if she's not watching this and reading the comments and i believe she reads all of your comments so be on your best behavior but if she doesn't read all the comments i will be sure to report to her what your favorite things is obviously mine is this anna sweet dress i mean it's just such a delight, right up my alley. All right, and now on to my portion of the haul. This I got from one of our local bins locations that is a dollar per item. Not the usual one that I go to, but another one in the area. And I think I found some really great stuff. So let's get into it. 
So first up here, now I did say I was gonna be slowing down picking up Torrid pieces, but this, you know, it's a gray blazer and a good gray blazer is such a good closet staple and Torrid makes fabulous plus size blazers. This is the kind of stuff from Torrid that I pick up. Their, their quality's really nice, the construction's nice, the fabric's nice, and this will probably go somewhere between 30 and 40. $50. I'm not quite sure exactly what the price will be, but I just thought that this was a really great piece. Solid, beautifully made. It is a size 2, so 2XL. Really, really nice piece. And again, I do love the suiting from Torrid. Next up, now this is something for sure to be keeping your eyes out for. These are Abercrombie jeans. Their renaissance has been amazing. Their jeans in particular are fabulous, but what you want to look for is the kind of jeans that have the name on the tag like that, right? So the mom jean, the dad jeans, because people search them out by name. This is a size 30, which is a great size to find. These are a little bit kind of higher waisted, a little bit looser around the bottom, cropped length and distress, and again, black jeans. Go with everything, staple of my wardrobe, absolutely love them. I will probably see somewhere between 35 and $45 on these. And I would imagine that they will go pretty quickly. Next up, I thought this was such a pretty piece. This is free people, intimately free people. And I love this kind of wine color. This is just like a little camisole. It is sheer, it is completely sequined. This is something that I will be tagging with festival, Coachella, you know, this is exactly the kind of thing that somebody will wear, you know, for a long festival day. It's comfortable, it's very soft. The inside, you know, sometimes when you wear sequins is like really chafy, the inside feels really soft. I think I'll probably get about $35 for this, maybe a little bit more. This was probably about $80 to $100 new. Very cute, and it is a size medium. I just love that color, isn't that stunning? Next up, this is a dress, very similar, I got a similar dress like a couple weeks ago. This is from Young, Fabulous, and Broke, and it is tie-dye, high neck, body con, in this pretty like blue and white tie-dye, and then the back, I love this back, it's just a wide crossover. Can you kind of see that? Like it's nice and wide and soft, so it's not going to be an uncomfortable high neck dress. Very, very cute. This is a size large, which I love to find. This Young Fabulous and Broke sells at Revolve. It used to sell a lot better than it does now, but I will still see probably $35 on this. It is still, you know, the quality is still really nice. The materials are still really nice. Um, so it is something that still commands a higher price just based on that. If this was a couple years ago when they were really, really running hot, this would probably have sold for like 50 and up. So keep that in mind when you're sourcing, just depending on what price you're able to source for. Next up here, another pair of black jeans, but these are by Mother, which is for sure a Bola brand. Can you see that? Ugh, it's very tonal there. But these are small. These are a size 24. This is the Hustler Ankle Fray, which you want to try to find. I mean, like mother jeans, even skinny mother jeans, they're going to sell. But I love, these are little boot cuts, long boot cuts. And again, we've been seeing this kind of baggy thing for the last couple of years. And I think we're going to start to see the silhouettes trend slimmer a little bit. I don't think we're going back to skinny jeans, although I think, you know, wear what you want, you know, wear what you love. But I think that when it comes to trend, when it comes to like popular buying, we're gonna see these more like slim boot cut, these like kind of kick boot jeans coming in. These are mother jeans. They retail for like $250, $260. These will probably fetch between $50 and $100. If you find one of like the really sought after uh, styles or if you're finding like a mother superior, you're gonna be looking $100 to $150, maybe even more. So great find for the bins for a dollar. I never find mother. I never find mother jeans. Next up, now this is a brand I love to find. This is a little bit of a more wintry piece, but I still think it'll sell just based on it being Vince. This is Vince. This is a brand that is sold at Saks Fifth Avenue. Very expensive. This is probably a three or four hundred dollar dress. It's got this nice like boucle front to this dress and then the rest is this kind of like I don't know how to describe this fabric. It feels 
kind of like flannel, but it's a little bit heavier and it is stretch. It's kind of fleece, but it's definitely not fleece. And it's got piping details, zip on the back. It is a size four. And I love this. This is probably my favorite part. Do you see how that, it's got a little side vent, fully lined, of course, but the, the side vent is flanked by curved pieces and it looks really cute on. So I think this is something I will see 40 to $50 on. Vince generally sells very quickly and for a great price. So keep your eyes out for that brand for sure. Next up, now this, I don't know how fast this is gonna move. This is DeSigual. And DeSigual is known for these big, bold patterns, bright colors. And, you know, people like, for people who like DeSigual, DeSigual is their entire style. It is very bold, it is a very de decided style, but this is just a little button down shirt. It's got this really interesting print on it. I have no idea what I'm gonna get on this. This is a size large, but it is slim fit. I'll have to do a little bit more digging on it. It's got the DeSigual logo right here. Again, I mean, there are certain pieces from DeSigual that are very sought after and go for very high prices. And then there are some that sit, but this is just very of the essence of DeSigual. So of course for a dollar, I picked it up. It might sit for a little bit, but I do think when it sells, it'll sell for a decent price, probably 35 to 45. DeSigual is very expensive. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for, but if you are sourcing at a higher price, I would do a little bit of research into DeSigual to figure out if it is like the right move for you. Next up, now this, I was so excited to find in the bins, one of my favorite designers and I, as, an, as a kid who grew up in the 80s and 90s, it's funny to say this, but this is a pair of pants from The Row. And The Row is, if you are unfamiliar, owned by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who are very much style icons. For me, very minimalist, beautiful tailoring, classic. These are like cropped flare pants. These are kind of like ankle length. They are a size medium. They've got a little bit of stretch to this fabric. It is beautifully constructed, like every little detail. And this is not something that is gonna show. It's like black on black. This is not gonna show well on camera, but absolutely stunning. So I have never in my life found anything from the row in the bins, in the thrift, anywhere. I hope this is the first of many. I'm going to start like manifesting one of their purses because I have been drooling over them for years and I will not be spending thousands of dollars on a purse, but I will spend $7.99 when I do find one at the thrift, right? Let's all will this into, let's all will this into being. I think I, I think I'll probably get somewhere close to $100 for these. These were about $1,000 new, so great find and a super great style. I think that, I think that's a very like on trend style right now. Next up, now this was something I love to get. Obviously I'm grabbing straight from the bag, so sorry for the noise here. I love to grab these. This is a vintage Orvis sweater. I wanna say this is early 90s, look at that tag. And I believe that is the name of the person who owned this. This is, I don't know if this is something that Orvis used to do or if this is something that this owner, Seth M. Barnes had done. Um, but it's fabulous. This is 85% wool. It is kind of a scratchier wool, so it's something that somebody will have to wear a base level, but it's kind of like multicolor marl that feels so 90s to me. I think that this will go very, very quickly. This is in perfect condition. If I have to guess, this was probably stored either in a cedar closet or in like a vacuum bag because this is impeccable, impeccable for its age probably somewhere 30 to $40 on this, maybe a little bit more. I've sold a few more like vintage LL Bean and I kind of know where they land. I've not really found too many vintage Orvis pieces over the years. Usually the ones that I've found have been more like fishing vests and they sell super quick. People, that's really in demand, but I was not gonna leave this behind. So we'll find out, but again, I think it's gonna be in that 30 to $40 range. It is an extra large as well. Next up, now when I got this home, I discovered that there were some stones missing and because of that, I'm not gonna sell it, but guys, if any of you want this, let me know in the comments down below. If more than one of you want this, I will do a drawing in next week's video or something like that. But this is another, and I'm pretty sure that this is vintage, Juicy Couture Black Label. 
Are, like, are you ready for this back? Are you ready for this? Oh my god. It's, this isn't like stickers. These are like riveted, not riveted, but studded rhinestones. You can kind of, can you hear them shaking around there? Somebody out there wants to be 2000 Eras Paris Hilton for Halloween or be what, like Regina George for Halloween or your daughter wants to. So let me know. I would love to get this to one of you. Um, I just, yeah, see it's like missing this row of stones and it's missing a couple over here, but it is still ridiculous. And unless you're really looking, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna notice it, but like, let me know. If you want it, I'm gonna get it to one of you guys. But isn't this ridiculous? It's so ridiculous. Like Juicy Couture was so expensive and I think that the black label was one of their like more expensive lines. So pink, it is a size, but so you can figure it out. It is a size large. So again, oh my God. I never even noticed this. Look at the, look at the zipper pull. I mean, this is about as bling as a sweatshirt can get. I can't. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Let me know if you want it. I, again, not gonna sell that. Next up, this is a cute little Betsy Johnson dress. Betsy Johnson dresses have been doing very well for me recently. You know, they're not gonna sell for, you know, hundreds of dollars, but they will sell quick because the quality is really beautiful and the design is higher end than what the prices kind of dictate. This is a cute little smocked midi dress, eyelet, look at that bottom, in this beautiful like cerulean blue, once again channeling Miranda Priestley. It's actually cerulean. This is a size large. I will probably see somewhere between 30 and $50 on this. I just think it's so cute and it's so perfectly timely right now. And I like that the smocking is not like all smocking you can kind of see it's like strips of kind of normal knit in between smocking and then the straps match and they go a little bit wider over the shoulder so if you wanted to kind of hide a bra under here you could which matters if you're wearing a size large because most people that are a size large have to wear a bra so very cute and in perfect condition i love that color next up now this is a pair of pants from denim and supply this is a defunct ralph lauren line and I want you guys to keep your eyes out for this label. I have never had anything from Denim and Supply that didn't sell super quickly. People really love this line and it's been out of business for, God, it's gotta be coming up on a decade now. So it's just, it, there's a finite supply, you know, like, you know, every day a pair of Denim and Supply khakis are being ripped and that's it. There's no replacement. You can't go out and buy new ones because new ones aren't being made. These are a size 34, 32, so a great, like, very common size. 100% cotton. Oh, a little bit of stretch to them. In fabulous condition. These look kind of brand new and kind of a slimmer leg, which is unusual to see from this brand, but I think that these will move super quick for probably 35 to $45. Next up, this is a pair of pants from Citizens of Humanity. And this is a great brand. They don't sell as well as they used to, but to be fair, I haven't been finding many of the more modern cuts. I'm usually only finding skinny jeans. Their skinny jeans used to sell for like $150 for me, like super quick. But these kind of feel very preppy. They're straight leg. They kind of have this like little, you know, rollable cuff here. Super cute. They are a size... 30, which is a great size. This is the Mandy High Waist Retro Slim Roll Up. That's a mouthful. So these will probably go about $35. I'm interested to see how fast they move because they are like a khaki. They're, you know, they're jean style, like they're jean like cut, but they are more of like a khaki fabric with this floral print. I just thought that they were really pretty. I could see, you know, a classy lady going out for brunch with that crisp white shirt. Beautiful. Next up, this is a little dress from Sundry. And Sundry is sold at like Albion stores. I think that they sell at Anthropology or Free People sometimes. That is the tag you're looking for. This is a pretty expensive brand and it resells really well. This has short little bell sleeves. It's a maxi length, tiered, very soft jersey. There's this little like ladder stitch detail there in between tiers. Super, super cute. Size one, which I would imagine is a size small, but this does feel pretty generously sized. You know, this doesn't feel like something that's gonna be like 
tight in any way, shape, or form. It could probably easily fit a medium, but this was a great find. I ne I've never found Sundry before, and I own some pieces from Sundry, and I've bought them secondhand, and I've paid a good price for them, so definitely something to keep. Oh, and there's pockets. Pockets. And kind of deeper pockets, too. Why is that surprising? Do better. Do better, clothing companies. So cute. I think I'll probably see 40 to $50 on this, maybe a little bit more. Like I said, they sell for a pretty, pretty good price. So next up here is this cute little piece from Splendid. I leave a lot of Splendid behind at the bins, but I wasn't about to leave this behind. It's a cute little denim chambray dress. It's got like a little raw uneven hem there, a little faux wrap front size large perfect condition and right now is the right time to be sourcing this this will go probably about 35 dollars and i think this will sell in no time this is just a perfect little dress and it is so soft if there's one thing that splendid does it's very expensive this was probably a 200 dollars dress their textiles are like across the board buttery soft next up oh my god this was such a cool find this is some vintage Parisian fashion. This is a vintage midi skirt from Sonia Reichel. Reichel? Am I saying this right? I remember seeing this name in the fashion magazines as a kid. Super high-end. This was up there probably in like the Dior price range. Red heavy knit gold buttons all the way down. It is missing a button down at the bottom and it's got a couple teeny tiny little moth holes in it. I don't think that that's gonna hurt the sell through on this. Is it gonna like prevent me from getting full price on it? Yes, but I think that this is a great find. I will probably see 40, 50 bucks on this and I love this style. This has a very quiet luxury feel to it just gorgeous. Next up here, this is a great little black dress, an LBD from Theory. I think this is vintage based on that tag. This looks like their 90s tag, but it's just a little like kind of ruched, like you can't really, I don't think you can really tell because this is black on black, but it's got this kind of like ruched band that goes from like the shoulder down across, around the waist so it cinches in. This is just beautiful. It's in beautiful condition, size small. Theory little black dresses go pretty well for me. I'll probably see about 40 bucks on this. And this will look great. I, this is something for sure that I'll put on the mannequin because it'll make a little bit more sense with this ruche. Next up here, now this is something that I have two pair of myself. These are, uh, what are they called? I will put the name down below. These are a pair of pull-on kind of elastic waist trousers from made well in I think this is called like their dream weave or something like that it's like a it's like a tensile weave so it's nice and floppy buttery soft and this is just a black pull-on pair they're a size medium these go on the resale market for like 50 to 60 bucks they're very sought after they were constantly sold out. I think I bought my pair last year. Yeah, I think I got them last year and I remember having to wait for the black pair because they were sold out. And then as soon as I bought them, I remember them being sold out again because I sent a link to my friend. So these resell for a great price. Definitely, you know, I don't always recommend picking up everything from Madewell, but if you see these out in the bins, for sure pick them up. These are a definite buy. They're still very in, they're wide leg, they're trouser style. They are pull-on, so they're comfy. I, I love these pants, so definite buy. Next up is this great top from Koss. I love finding Koss pieces, one of my favorite brands. This is brand new with tags. That is the label you're looking for. And this is just a little navy blue popover top three quarter inch sleeves, but look at that collar. It's like an exaggerated funnel neck almost. The sits kind of loose around the neck. Gives you a little bit of a cowl, but it stands up. I feel like Cost does this very well. I've seen this kind of collar on a bunch of different pieces, but this is tunic length. This will sell in no time. This is very much like a key piece, like a very kind of classic, you look at it, you know it's cost kind of shirt. So this I think will sell very quickly and probably around 
40 to $50. All right, we're almost there, guys. We've got two more pieces. Next up is this cute little top from Maeve. This is like a white kind of embroidered front, gauzy sleeveless shirt. This is fully lined, so it will not be see-through. Six, that is the tag there. It's upside down. I remember when they did that, but this is something that is a good kind of bread and butter piece for me. Maeve is an anthropology brand very expensive but i love these little tops they do sell very well for me so probably i'll see between 20 and 25 dollars on this mave does not sell for what it used to but it does sell reliably this kind of reminds me of that aster the label piece from earlier but very cute very very cute one and then finally now this is one that i got because it just felt so nice and it feels very like y2k vintage this is a little dress from kenneth cole new york I don't think I've ever picked anything from Kenneth Cole, so let me know if you have before and you've done well with it. But this is silk, and this is all velvet. This feels very, like, it feels very indicative of the Y2K, like, 70s loungewear revival. I That's a very niche thing that I just pulled out of there, but um, this feels very much of that era. But it's this kind of pretty like bronzy gold color. This is a size zero, so it is small, but the quality is really nice. And then it's it's got this like little like mesh ruffle here on the bottom. I think I'll probably see, I don't know, $25 to $35 on this, but I just thought it was so cute and I could not leave that behind. This gives me Lorelei Gilmore vibes. This just feels very of that era. And I do think that this is vintage from the early 2000s. So super, super cute piece. But that is it guys, that is the haul for today. That is both my haul and my mom's haul. What is your favorite piece? I think my favorite piece is, I think mine has to be that Anna Sui dress that my mom found. I just think it's so gorgeous. Anna Sui does classic with a twist so well. She always has her tongue firmly planted in her cheek. She always has a little fun with design. Her and Betsy Johnson, I think, are kind of in the same like wavelength like that. I love that they always have a little bit of fun with their designs. But how do we do? Did my mom do great? I think she killed it. I cannot wait to bring her thrifting out here when she comes to visit. I think I'm actually going to try to bring her to a bins location, which should be fun because it's definitely more crowded here than the ones back home. So it's going to be an interesting experience. But that is it, guys. I'm not going to do a numbers roundup just because we've got things from kind of all over here. But I so appreciate you all hanging with me while I go through these hauls, while I start to kind of prep the processing of these items. It means so much to me that you choose to spend your time with me. I know that there's a lot of people that do this out there and uh, it really means a lot to me that you you choose me for a little bit of your day but if you had fun guys don't forget to hit like of course don't forget to hit subscribe I want to have you along on this journey don't forget to follow along on my socials I will have my handles right here they'll also be linked down below but without further ado guys have the most amazing week Happy hunting. I'm sending you all of the vibes for all of the treasures that you want to find. And I will see you in the next one.